Oh, this is the, the bullet feeder we uh, just finished the design recently. And today I want to talk a little bit more about it, uh, more details about the, the bullet feeder. Why I got two here. Uh, first thing I want to see, let you see is this, this bullet feeder that's with a four clear acrylic tube. So you can load a lot more, like for, for example, this now with a nine mil projectile. They've got 20 pieces per tube. That's about 80 in total. So that's a revolver sort of uh, like a rotation base here. So every time you turn, the one the once the two uh, tube align, so the bullet uh, will start dropping. Then into this, the bullet feeding die. This die is uh, uh, they come in different uh, caliber. Like this one, you can uh, load a nine mil and the thirty eight special thirty three five seven magnum. And in different caliber, you need to change to different die so when you buy one of these this is a set then we give you the the correct uh, size and then the difference between these two is the the tube this tube we got uh, like a 10 mil uh, in the id in the diameter here so that's when the fits all the smaller projectile 9 mil 10 mil 357 and all the like a uh, some uh, rifle like a 6.5 crit more 308 270 all goes into this because the, the tube is smaller then the projector will stay inside of the straight and it won't wobble but if you got a, like a bigger caliber it's not a, like a, a bigger projector like 44 45 or something bigger then you need this one this has got a slightly bigger tube so this will fit like a bigger projector and also exactly same thing with a different die you basically this die will sit on the your press the reloading press the reloading press with uh, all the same thread so it doesn't matter if you got a dylan or if you got hornady or rcbs really or use the same thread so you first thing you put this thread and into the uh, tool head make a proper adjustment Pro adjustment is very important you once you set in the correct uh, high then the projector will come out freely otherwise it will jam so that's spend a bit of time, you'll get it. The um, important thing is that for, for setting up, okay, I'll just do a tiny bit, little bit of demonstration here. So when projector goes into here, they will stop because there's a D10 inside of there. The D10 will stop the projector come out. So when a case, after the case got the powder filled, they come to this station, the case will come out, we push the middle uh, tube here, you see the spring, so this one will push up. Once this goes up a little bit, you can see the projector will come out. So the, once the projector come out and the next we will move into the next station, the next empty case come here, push again, projector will come out. So that's how it works. So get this properly set up, the, the, how deep you go into the tool head very very important so take a bit of time start from the screw this down start from the highest point slowly slowly goes down until the case just activated not pushing too much then you can feel you can feel the the projector come out stay then and this case can come back as again so you back to the original uh, position there so that's when you got it otherwise just make adjustment again up and down make it right so once you got this right there's the die stay on the tool head you don't need to move again so what you need to only thing you need to do is this this uh, uh holder loader magazine uh, type of sort of thing so when you have time you've uh, you got a bit you preload it or when you're watching tv whatever you when you've got a bit of free time you can preload this so you can see there's an uh, arrow there's some indication you can see these are different. They're solid, there's hollow. So when these two point to each other, that's mean the tube is not a line. It's in the in between. So that's mean whatever you put in, the projector you drop in, it's not going to come up. Because then that's the in locked position. But once you if you start uh, you turn, you with this, you solid, solid, or hollow, hollow. If you 
when once you turn into it, the, the, this two tube will line. You see that's a projector will start dropping. So that's how it works. So we put this on. So once you preload all the projector into it, you just slide in. If you want, you can give a little bit of push. It will stay quite a, like a tight fit. So we'll just put this on here to catch all the thing. So you, you see, now this, this one's empty. But you go to the next one. So this one will drop. You see that? All the projector drop it. Then when empty case come here, this will I have the hold here. This whole thing will move up and down. So you're moving, come up. So I'm, I'm pushing too slow. When the case come here, it won't come at once. All of them just one by one. So you're just doing this. Then when, let's hold on. Come up. Then it's pretty hard for me to, to demonstrate, uh, you know, just with hand. This is supposed to be on the machine, more stationary. So this will start to work properly. So, okay, I'll have try again. Just uh, this will stay there. Just one, two, three, four. So, okay, this one's empty. The next one, go there. Oops, oh, see? Okay, I can't do this. But anyway, that's the how, um, how it works. So this one, stay on the tool head, never move. This one is removable. So you hold a bit. Unplug and make sure they are like a solid arrow and the hollow arrow pointing each other. That means lock the position. So then you start to preload all the projector into the tube. So that's the uh, bullet feeder. So this one work exactly the same, just uh, for different purpose, for, for different caliber. The bigger projector use this one and the smaller one use this one. So that's the whole setup.